Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Mass Effect 2. Uh, so instead of doing some more, um, like, loyalty missions, I thought I want to do another recruitment, because uh, I want to get Thane, who is the assassin. Uh, probably one of my favorite, like, probably just, like, my favorite, kind of, like, ally is probably Garrus. Um, but just under Garrus would probably be the asset, like, Thane. Alright, so we're gonna head down to Ilium. Pretty sure Ilium we've been here before. In the original Mass Effect. Um... You know what, let's bring... Harley... And Jack. I give him the heavy pistol. Actually, no. Oh, okay. No, we'll, we'll, I'm happy with that. That'll be alright. Um. All right, where do we want to go? All right, I'm at fine thing. Commander, a pleasure to see you again. Can I help you with something? I'm on a mission. Can you help me find someone? I can help you find major entertainment centers or stores, but I'm afraid I can't point you to individual people. Liara is excellent at that type of work, however. I imagine she can help you. Thank you. Right, well, Have a pleasant visit, Nos Astra, Commander. All right, let's go talk to Liara then. It was inevitable that we'd have to go and speak to her. We received an unexpected visitor in the form of a rare Jessicar calling herself Samara. Samara denied our request for an interview. No, you don't understand. I got on me. Pardon me, I'm dealing with damn Ilium travel bureaucracy. Excuse me, but I found a locket with a picture of a human and someone who looks like you. Oh, Stephen. Thank you. Thank you so much. My daughter was young when he died. This is the only memento she has of him. Please accept this. It's much less than I would have had to pay the bureaucrats to authorize a search. Oh, look at me being a good Samaritan. Oh, who could I talk to? You're insane. Very few Quarians ever set foot here. Ilium doesn't allow the flotilla to approach beyond a certain distance. This is the greatest planet in the galaxy for those who can afford it. And they work hard to keep the quad. How can you short sell on I don't need to buy more fish. All my fish have died. I didn't realize that you have to keep feeding them. Lots of money here. Soft people who'd make good victims. This place is one bad day away from becoming Omega. You're not wrong. Oh, I'm pretty sure the Ara lives up here. Hungry, then come to the fish dog food shack. Tasty Hello, Commander Shepard. The Ara will be pleased to see you. You're Liara's assistant? Yes. Liara relies upon me to acquire useful intelligence. I don't have her network of contacts, but I supply her with supplemental data. It's really an honor to work with her. What's Liara's reputation here on Ilium? She is greatly respected. In a few short years, she's amassed a sizable network of connections. She could have even more political power than she already wields if she weren't so focused on her personal goals. But I believe she should tell you about that, not me. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. Right, I wonder if you can take off your uh, helmet from in here. No, you can't. Right. Alright. It'd be awesome if you could, like, sort of... Didn't have to wear it for the cutscenes. Have you faced an Asari commando unit before? Few humans have. I'll make it simple. Either you pay me, or I flay you alive. With my mind. Shepard! Nixeris, hold my calls.
My sources said you were alive, but I never believed. It's very good to see you. It's good to see you too, Liara. How are you doing? I'm doing well. I've been working as an information broker. It's paid the bills since you... Well, for the past two years. And now you're back. Gunning for the Collectors with Cerberus. That's not exactly public knowledge. Neither is you being alive, Shepard. Information is my business now. And if you need information on finding people, I'm happy to help. I'm looking for Thane Krios. He's supposed to be here on Ilium. The assassin? Yes. He arrived here a few days ago. My sources tell me he may be targeting a corporate executive, Nisana Dantius. He contacted a woman named Serena. Serena has an office in the cargo transfer levels. Perhaps she can tell you where Krios is. There's an Asari named Samara here on Ilium. Do you know where I could find her? Samara? Yes. She arrived recently and registered with tracking officer Dara. You can find Dara at the transportation hub. Why would Samara have to register with a tracking officer? Is she a criminal? No. In fact, she's quite the opposite. Samara is a Justicar, one of an ancient sect of Asari warriors. Dara can tell you more. Thanks for the help. That's all I needed to know. Of course. If there's anything else I can help you with, let me know. What about you, Liara? I could use your help on this mission. I can't, Shepard. I'm sorry. I have commitments here, things I need to take care of. What kind of things do you need to take care of? Are you in trouble? No, no trouble. But it's been a long two years. I had things to do while you were gone. I have debts to repay. Listen, if you want to help, I need someone with hacking expertise. Someone I can trust. If you could disable security at key points around Ilium, you could get me information I need. That would help me a great deal. What's this all about, Liara? I'm on the Can't truth. You just talk to me? Don't you think I want to, Shepard? This isn't because I don't trust you. This is Ilium. Anything I say is probably being recorded. If it'll help you, I'll take care of it. When you hack one, a server will open somewhere nearby for a short time. You can download data from there, if you hurry. Thank you, Shepard. This may help me pay a great debt. I'll talk to you later, Liara. Alright, where do we gotta go for Thane? Cargo transfer level. Right. Coming up later today, we release our annual list of Ilium's 10 richest people. Are they I think this is the way to go. It was good seeing we are again. Listen, I know the um, data is vital to the Carosa family. Asana Dantius didn't give us time to pack. Wonder if I got it out at all. Her mercenaries were starting to shoot. If she lets us back in, I'll get it. I promise. If not, well, we'll just have to hope. Excuse me, I'm on an okay. important call. Now it looks like it's a separate mission that we can get for him. So I found that uh, the lady's locket in one of the missions. So all those ones are like where you can hear the conversation, you must be able to find and get to like do little mini Serena? side quests. Who wants to know? Name Shepard. Liara Tassoni said you might have information on Thane Krios. Tana, cover for me. Over here. Yeah, I know who Thane Krios is. I might have passed him some information, but I didn't hire him. What do you want to know? Maybe you could help me find him? <laughs> I can tell you, but you won't stop him. When he contacted me, I checked up on him. The man never gives up on a job. I ran security for Nasana Dantius. Then I found out she was having people killed to cover up her dirty secrets. She fired me when I confronted her. Her loss. I might have been good enough to stop Thane from taking her down. If you work there, you must have an idea what his opposition will be. Eclipse Mercs. High-tech killer. Undisciplined, but very well equipped. They don't much care who they kill, as long as they're paid for it. Thane has quite a reception waiting for him. I told him all I knew. He didn't seem worried. Why does that name sound familiar? She was a representative on the Citadel a few years ago. Right. She had me kill her sister, the slaver. 
Oh no! I, I remember that. that. Was just a rumor. Well, you know what she's capable of then. She has even more power here in Nos Astra. She uses it to keep her friends in check and her enemies dead. So where do I find Thane? The Dantius Towers, penthouse level of Tower One. There's a second tower, still under construction. If Thane is smart, he'll go in from there. It doesn't sound like Nasana's just gonna let me in. She's as smart as she is paranoid. No one's getting in or out of there without a fight. I can get you in, but you'll only get one shot. You'd better be ready. You're just offering your help? No strings attached? You're going to look for Thane. Nasana's mercenaries will try to stop you. At the least, you'll distract her guards. Take a little fire, give Thane a clear shot. I didn't hire him to kill Nasana, but I won't shed any tears when she gets what's coming to her. Do you know anything else about Thane? Not much. He did say that he's not doing the hit for money. Nobody hired him. I wanted to know who I was helping, and he said he's doing this job on his own. That he had to restore the balance of his life. I don't know. Maybe he's crazy. If he takes down Nasana, I don't care why he does it. Let's go, then. Good. I'm tired of this crap. We'll go tonight, as soon as the shift workers clear out of Tower 2. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh. Uh, um... So for this, I'm probably going to want someone with an assault rifle. So I'll take Garrus. And... She's got an SMG. A pistol. Um... like another mercenary let's see yeah, let's bring all these people used to be contract killers so one except for Gar garris killed bad people well i don't know if he did it for money but the two closest people i have to mercenaries uh happy with that happy Towers are heavily guarded, and you'll find more resistance closer to the penthouse. So, this assassin, you planning to stop him? I'm just here to make sure he survives. Hmm. There they are, the Dantius Towers. You'll have to get up to the second tower and cross the bridge to the penthouse. Her mercs will fight you every step, but it's your best chance. Um. Uh, Why don't we just save time and take the shuttle up? She's got mercs with rockets just waiting for you to try. Okay, that's fine. You get why. maybe halfway up before they shot you down. Besides, your assassin won't go in that way. Best to go in low. Any last minute tips about the towers? The Eclipse mercs will be well fortified by now, and they won't want to disappoint Nasana. There's no automated defenses or traps, just focus on anything moving. All right. Let's do this. Hold on. Such a good view. Don't linger too long. They'll be here to greet you soon enough. Good luck, Shepard. So we got some synthetics. This ammo this is absolutely down. slaps. Everyone else run to. Help. 
He's still alive. I can't feel my legs. My chest is killing me. Who attacked you? We're just night workers. Nasana sent them after us. She sent the mechs to round us up, but we didn't hear. They just started shooting. Someone's here to kill Nasana. I need to find him. I haven't seen anyone. <laughs> but that explains. The mercs said there was no time. Nasana wanted us out of the way. Immediately. Then... <coughs> the dogs... <coughs> He's not going to make it if we don't help him. Here. That should ease the pain and keep you alive until help arrives. Gotta keep moving if you want to find this assassin. Take your time. I think I'm better. Find the other workers. Help them. I need to get up to the penthouse. Any suggestions? Take the service elevator to the upper floors. The bridge between the towers isn't finished, but if you're careful, watch out for the mercs. They're everywhere. Any idea how many mercs Nassan has got? A lot. Dozens of them are wandering around here all day. You'll find more the further up you go. Why would Nasana kill her own workers? To her, we're expendable. But I didn't realize she was that ruthless. My friends, co-workers, slaughtered. They were jumping off ledges to escape the dogs. I'll do what I can. Thank you. Let's get moving. Well, first, I kind of want to check this other side. And they can't ever say I'm not a good bloke. I help out where I can. <laughs> oh, ho, ho, almost missed that one. Ah, we got the goods. I can't say I've ever played this game as um, a renegade. Is that what it's called? A renegade? Yeah, renegade. I'm always the paragon. Maybe one day I'll do this playthrough as... One day I'll do this as a renegade. Heavy concussive arm piercing. Alright, he's already got it. Alright, so we look alright. Alright, well, I might just go and send the arrow then. Who's next? I'm poking po the head out. shots that take out these guys but they're dropping that much ammo that it's not really affecting me all that much yes. now there I think this bit's a little broken I 
I don't know how I survived that. I most definitely should not have. Making decent progress so far, though. Hey, I think he went in here. We'll go get him. You go. Get your ass in there, and the fan is not paying you to stand around. Fine. But I'm still. Oh, whoa. Where are they coming from? They sounded like they were up there. See uh, my team's yeah. helping out. Yeah. All right. Come on, there's gonna be some more around here somewhere. Thing I can get over here. Oh no. Oh, I knew it. Oh, why did I do that? Slow and steady, Matt. Slow and steady. As he does it again. Ah. Oh. There we go. I think that was our last chance too. Please, don't kill us. We'll go. We'll go. Hey, look. They're not Eclipse. You're here to help us, right? It's one reason I'm here. Come on out. It's safe enough. Thank you. We are in your debt. Maybe you can help me. I'm looking for someone, not a merc. He's on his own. Well, whoever sealed us in here. When he found us, I thought we were dead, but he just closed the door and locked us in. Locked you in? Sounds like our assassin was trying to keep them safe. Assassin? Here for Nasana, I bet. She's got it coming. You treat people like this, it always comes back to bite you in the ass. I need to get to Nasana's penthouse. What's the quickest way? Cargo elevator is the only way up right now. They're still working up top. Watch your step. Some of the walls aren't in, and it's a long way down. Cold, too. I hate working up there. Nasana's not exactly your favorite person? She's a hard woman to work for. That's an understatement. She works us long hours, no overtime, and this is what you get in payment. She's unpleasant, to say the least. Why not just quit? We would if we could. What's stopping you? Our contract. We're stuck until the job's done. Quitting for any reason can be hazardous to your health. We hear that anyone who leaves early tends to disappear. Probably just a rumor. But who wants to find out for sure? Did you see the one who locked you in? Do you know where he might have gone? He's no Solarian, I can tell you that. But I've no idea where he went. Sorry. 
If he's after Nasana, he'll be heading to the upper levels. How many workers were in the tower? Are there many more of you? Not alive. We were lucky. Well, some got out before the dogs were sent in. Maybe a few are hiding somewhere. All right, that's it. I wouldn't stay here too long. It should be safe down on the lower floors. I was just thinking the same thing. Let's go, everybody. Head on out. For freedom and safety. Thank you. And tell your assassin to aim for her head. Because she doesn't have a heart. Get oh. moving. What's in here I can I can loose? Oh, Vipus, where is that? Oh. Absolutely juicy. I needed to. I was stuck on that one. I had nowhere to go. Uh, now we can head up. We're a little exposed out here, especially if anyone's in that elevator. Oh, why well, you gotta say that? I was just thinking that. the same thing myself, Garrus. Well, there's no lack of cover. Enemy, have a pleasant day. Boom! Enemy! Absolutely ate him. Oh, where's all that ammo? I haven't heard from teams four or five. Don't worry, my team's always ready to go. I don't know where he is. Not yet. Assassin. Why are you looking for him? You're not one of the Santa's mercs. Who are you? Answer my questions and I'll let you go. Look, pal. Even if I knew where he was, I wouldn't tell you. Not the answer I was looking for. I've got nothing more to say to you. If you shoot me, my team's right through there. Oh, I missed They'll it. all over you. Is a little information really worth dying over? Is Nasana? No. I suppose not. Okay, look. Last I heard, the assassin was down on the mezzanine. But the teams on the bridge think they might have spotted him. Nobody knows for sure. Get out of here. I'm going. He owes you one. Anybody else would have killed him. Alright, always go right.
Will we have more workers in here? Or will we have some loot? Are you guys all right in here? Workers. Get back! Get back! I'll shoot! Relax. Don't do anything you'll regret. I don't want to hurt you, but I will. I said get back! I'll do it! Please, don't make me do it. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. What's your name? I... I'm Talon. Don't... Don't come any closer. Talon, I'm Commander Shepard. I don't work with the mercs and I don't want to hurt you. I'm here to help. I... All right. Here. I, uh, don't feel so... Talon! He's my brother. I just want to see if he's all right. Are you the ones who shot the Merc? It wasn't me. Your brother didn't do it? No. Talon was standing here with me. What happened exactly? The Merc found us and shouted at us to move. We, we panicked, and he shouted more. I thought he was going to kill us, then his head just exploded. Talon picked up the Merc's gun, but we were too afraid to leave. Then you showed up. A perfect headshot, with no collateral damage. Very impressive. How safe is that bridge out there? The bridge is stable, but the wind's your real problem. If it doesn't throw you off, the mercs will definitely try. There's a lot of them out there. I'm looking for someone. Probably the guy who killed this merc. Talon thought he saw someone following us, but he's been a bit... on edge. I haven't seen anyone but the mercs. Is the bridge the only way to the penthouse and the other tower? From here, yeah. It won't be easy. Mercs are patrolling the other side. Whatever Nasana's hiding from must be pretty scary. There are still mercs up here. You should get to the lower levels. No need to convince me. Tell him. Come on, get up. Can we go home now? Yeah, we're getting out of here. Thank you. I'm just helping everyone today. 6k. Oh. This is the worst part, just waiting for the one you want. And hoping you don't get stuck. There it is. Oh, I can't even get to it. There we go. Dead. It's about time. What's going on down there? I'm afraid your men aren't able to respond, Asana. Damn it! How does she? Surely she would have recognized my voice. Everyone knows Commander Shepard from his favorite shop in the Citadel. wants a crack. Alright, uh, the fact that they've got that there makes me think that there's about to be a boss fight. Um, I don't know what's better. I'll just see what I got. It's pretty decent, and it doesn't seem to be bothering them much. I just realized this whole time, I didn't have my incendiary ammo. Shot 
Break your head off. This looks interesting. Oh, 12k. Come on, where are you? Oh, that was actually pretty easy. It's something a little harder for 12k. We've been spotted. Those rockets have some bark on them. God, I should not have survived that. Shepard, but you're dead. I got better. And now you're here to kill me. You really are paranoid, aren't you? Don't patronize me, Shepard. Charming as ever. I'm sure you find this all very ironic. First you take care of my sister, and now you're here for me. Well, you made it this far. Now what? You really think I'm here to kill you? Do you have another reason for destroying my tower? Decimating my security? I'm just looking for someone. You expect me to believe that? Is it credits? Is that what you want? Just tell me your price. We can make this problem go away. Make me an offer. Double whatever you're getting. And I'll pay double again if you tell me who hired you. What? I heard something. Damn it. Check the other entrances. You stay put. When I'm finished dealing with this nuisance, you and I are going to... Impressive. You certainly know how to make an entrance. I was hoping to talk to you. I apologize, but prayers for the wicked must not be forsaken. She certainly was wicked. Not for her, for me. 
The measure of an individual can be difficult to discern by actions alone. Take you, for instance. All this destruction, chaos. I was curious to see how far you'd go to find me. Well, here I am. How did you know I was coming at all? I didn't. Not until you marched in the front door and started shooting. Nasana had become paranoid. You saw the strength of her guard force. She believed one of her sisters would kill her. You were a valuable distraction. Let's cut to the chase. I need you for a mission. Indeed. You're familiar with the Collectors? By reputation. They're abducting entire human colonies. Freedom's progress was their handiwork. I see. We're going after them. Attacking the Collectors would require passing through the Omega-4 Relay. No ship has ever returned from doing so. My ship will be the first. You'd like me to protect humans I've never met, from aliens no one knows anything about, by going to a place no one's ever returned from? That's the gist of it. This was to be my last job. I'm dying. Low survival odds don't concern me. The abduction of your colonists does. You're dying. Are you contagious? How long do you have? If you're interested, we can discuss it on your ship. The problem isn't contagious, and it won't affect my work. I take it that means you're on the team? I will work for you, Shepard. No charge. A boy find. I've heard impressive stories, Krios. Sounds like you'll be an asset to the team. That is, if you're comfortable having an assassin watch your back. I've accepted a contract. My arm is Shepard's. Uh-huh. Don't know about you, but I'm loyal to more than my next paycheck. Obviously he is too. He's doing this mission gratis. What's your concern? I don't like mercenaries. An assassin is just a precise mercenary. An assassin is a weapon. A weapon doesn't choose to kill. The one who wields it does. Where shall I put my things? I'd prefer someplace dry if anything is available. The area near the life support plant on the crew deck tends to be slightly more arid than the rest of the ship. Ah, an AI. My thanks. He seems quite civil. We need all the help we can get. He's not what I expected in an assassin. He may surprise you. Yeah, and he may not. Give the man a chance, Jacob. Alright, let's go have a chat with him. Find out what's killing my boy Fane. Commander, you've received a new message at your private oh, terminal. Oh, what do they want? Um. Ah, uh, yep. Dick. Oh, the shaman. Um. Okay, so what you're saying is don't get killed. Otherwise, we'll have a bit of a shower. Where does Thane live? Nope, oh, 
not this way. Access to the AI core is restricted. This first thing. Weren't you originally stationed on Horizon? Yes. If I hadn't joined Cerberus, I'd be abducted by the collectors right now. Paris, not who I want to talk to. Definitely would not be in Miranda's office. If Miranda's got anything to Commander, say. What can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? Of course. I'd been meaning to speak with you, in fact. I wanted to apologize. I didn't fully believe you'd be up to the task, and it seems I was wrong. Frankly, based on what I've seen, I wish Cerberus had recruited you earlier. With your intelligence, you could have landed any job you wanted. Why choose this? Because I still envy the time Morden spent with the special tasks group, working with people as smart as he was. Cerberus never tells me that something is impossible. They give me my resources and say do it. And they've given you even more. A new life, a new ship, the elusive man's personal attention. What? You disapprove? No. I'm just impressed. You're... Well, look at you. A kid from the slums of Earth. No family, little formal education. And you've done more than I could. Despite everything my father did to make me perfect, you're... you're the best humanity has to offer. You always bring up your genetic tailoring. It really bothers you, doesn't it? This is what I am, Shepard. I can't hide it. The intelligence, the looks, even the biotics. He paid for all of that. Every one of your accomplishments is due to your skill. The only things I can take credit for are my mistakes. That's a tough feeling to live with. Maybe after we save the galaxy, you'll change your mind. We can hope. Thanks for coming by, Shepard. I appreciate it. Hey, by the way, uh, you wouldn't know where Thane lives, would you? Uh, just... No, just... Oh, alright. Where... I swear she said near the life support room. That's the life support room. Starboard observation. Women's... Thane! Where you at? Shepard, the men's restroom is on the port side of the ship. What's wrong? They lost contact with New Canton. Oh. Might be the collectors. Maybe he's not on this deck. I don't know. No oh, there. Life support. Yes. Do you need something? Have a few minutes to talk? Certainly. We haven't had a chance since I joined. When we met you, you said you were dying. Yes. I thought you'd want to know more. You don't have to worry about the rest of the crew. My illness is not communicable, even to other Drell. It's called Keprel's Syndrome. Is there anything we can do here? Normandy has a state-of-the-art medical bay. No, thank you. It's being attended to. If the finest medical minds in the Hanar Illuminated Primacy can't solve the problem, I doubt your ship's medic could. Thank you for your concern. Trust me, this won't affect my performance. Do you need something? Yeah, we didn't get to finish our conversation. Have a few minutes to talk. Later. I'd like to consider what we've already discussed. We didn't even talk about it. We just... Oh, my... Uh. You mind if I ask you a few questions? Not at all. We need to have the best equipment possible to take on the collectors. Do you have any leads I could chase down? My old contact network often located rare equipment for me. Would you like me to get in touch with them? Let's see what they've got. Well, assault rifle damage. Yes. Do you need something? You mind if I ask you a few questions? Not at all. The Drell live on the Hanar homeworld, don't they? Yes. I know many think the Hanar difficult to understand. 
It's just that they're very formal with those they don't know. We know them quite well. If you ever get close enough to a Hanar that they tell you their soul name, you would find them warm. I thought that Hanar only let very close friends know their soul name. Most of my commissions were for Hanar. I grew close to my regular contacts. Soul names tend to be poetic. A Hanar known for its cynicism might take a name that means illuminates the folly of the dancers. Hanar talk using bioluminescence. That's more of an obstacle than their politeness. True. Many Drell have had their eyes genetically modified to perceive their higher frequency flashes. I had the treatment. I can't tell the difference between a dark red and black, but I can see ultraviolet light as a silver color. When you pray for the wicked, who exactly are you praying to? That depends on the circumstance. To find my target, I speak with Emonkira, Lord of Hunters. When I act to defend another, Arashu, goddess of motherhood and protection. And when I have taken my target, I speak with Kalahira, goddess of oceans and the afterlife. I didn't know that Drell had many gods. It's one of our older beliefs. Many embrace the Hanar and Kindlers now or the Asari philosophies. The old ways are dying. There are so many ways to interpret one's place in the universe. Who needs the wisdom of our ancestors? The younger generations don't believe they can help us fathom genetic engineering, orbital strikes, or alien races. Oceans and afterlife don't seem to have much in common. Consider, the ocean is full of life, yet it is not life as you and I know it. To survive there, we must release our hold on land accept a new way to live. So it is with the death. The soul must accept its departure from the body. If it can't, it will be lost. Right. We need to have the best equipment possible to take on the collectors. My old yeah. contact network often located rare equipment. Let's see what they've got. Right, what else you got for? What is that? Mineral scanner. Why not? All right, guys. We're well, gonna end the episode there. But if you did enjoy, it, make sure you smash that like button, and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch us all in the next one. Enjoy.